We're waiting for the June jobs report. It's going to be out in a couple of hours. Uh, the report's more uncertain than normal after May's stronger than expected gains. Join us now uh, to preview this month's data is Kathy uh, Bosjancic. She is chief U.S. economist at Oxford Economics uh, and Michelle Girard, co-head of global economics at NatWest. And uh, Michelle, just start with you. What what is the headline number going to be in, in your view with with how you uh, see things? got a, a stronger than consensus expectation with the job gain of, of 7.2 million. So uh, more than the consensus, as you said, the uh, the forecasts ar around these numbers are uh, incredibly uh, unprecise at this point. But we do expect you're going to see uh, more evidence of rehiring as economies have, have reopened. It sounds like a big gain. Of course, we're still looking at you know, less than half of the jobs lost during the the, the real hit from COVID to, to be recouped. So it, it, there's still a long way to go, but it would be encouraging to see the progress like we saw in other data like the ISM or the car sales numbers that activity is picking up as economies have reopened. Well, now that you've broached the possibility of 7 million jobs, <laughs> is that going to make, will, will people look at that and say, oh, my God, that's great? Or, Mich uh, you know, Michelle Girard already said it could be 7, so it's just in line. I mean, that's, that would be a number that, at, on face value, and I, I, I was talking about how we are media after all, I mean, that, the media would say, oh, my God, that's, that's the most ever, right? I mean, that would be a, a big number to, to see. And they say, and Joe, they, and that's probably going to be the takeaway. I mean, I think about how the market reacted to the two and a half million gain last month. You know, it, was, it clearly was a huge surprise to the upside. But in the context of the losses over the prior couple of months, I think the reaction that us economists had was a little bit less enthusiastic. We continue to see upside surprises in the data, the ISM numbers beating expectations, the pending home sales numbers, I mean, up 44 percent record gains. That's getting a lot Lot of headlines, but there is this confusion between level changes and percent or levels and percentage changes, and the market is rightfully, I understand, cheering the signs that we're seeing a rebound. But you know, percentage large percentage bounces or large increases in payrolls have to be taken in the context of what we've seen. The outright levels are still well below where we were before the crisis. I don't mean to be so negative, and again, I but I do think that that is an important thing to sort of keep in mind: the whole levels versus changes. Uh, aspect to this as we move through these numbers. Kathy, will you give us a number we can beat, please, uh, in terms of expect? No, seriously, what do you think we're going to be at, at seven, or do you have a lower, uh, a lower number? So we're a little bit moderate uh, compared to that forecast. Uh, we have a little bit over 4 million, 4.3 million, uh, although it feels a bit odd to be so precise, uh, even with a decimal point, to be honest, as you pointed out, uh, it's such wide expectations. Uh, the, Estimates I've seen have ranged from half a million to nine million, um, but I think you know, from the market perspective, it, anything um, you know, probably three million or higher, would be seen as good news. The labor market is continuing to heal. The rebound is is unfolding, um, but you know, as Michelle pointed out, this is the initial bounce, and. Um, you know, once you start to reopening, reopening many of the state's economies, you would expect this type of bounce. The, the real question is, where do we go from here? Um, and, and in that light, maybe initial jobless claims starts to steal a little bit of the spotlight from um, the payroll numbers this morning. Um, what we know from some of the alternative data, the high frequency data, is that, well, maybe hiring was pretty strong through you know, the middle of June, but from the end of June, um, it looks like we've leveled off in terms of activity because some of the reopenings, as you know, have been reversed. That's what I, that was my next question. And um, I, I, I'll try to get an answer from both. And you start, Kathy. But so the last three weeks have been different than, than prior to that with, with some of these reopenings being pulled back. Is it at a level where the, the big picture is we are reopening, you know, on the East Coast, other places. And, and that's why we had that surprise number last month and why it could be strong this month. The number of reclosings that we've seen, is that incremental yet to, to the bigger picture of reopening, in your view? And, and will it get there, Kathy? 
Yeah, so I, I think what it it does is it just slows down the pace of overall activity. I mean, there's still you know plenty of states and, and activity that's come back online. That everything is being shut down. Nothing compared to what we saw obviously during um, April and and even May. But um, the fact is that you know if you got this increased count in the viruses, it's concerning, and that could alter both businesses and consumers' behavior. And as you said, even some of the the governments are starting to mandate some slower yeah. reopening or reversal. So it really just dampens activity.